Did you know, the same flood can affect people very differently. In El Salvador, much of the land is at risk of flooding. Yet the floods affect people differently depending on their age and their gender. At Zed Zurich Foundation, we joined forces with Zurich Flood Resilience Alliance member Plan International to study the impacts of flooding on schoolchildren in El Salvador. They told us that flooding took away their right to education. In the floods following the hurricane Amanda Cristobal, lots of schools closed down. Many stayed shut for a long period and there was no emergency education in place. More girls were forced to miss school than boys. Girls also said they felt safer when they were with their teachers than with their families. Sadly, the police records show why this might be. Most human rights violations happen within the immediate family and more happen during a crisis. We also found that students aren't invited to help manage risks. So Plan International is setting up school protection committees, enabling students to help make their schools ready for floods. Plan International has also asked the Ministry of Education to make sure education can continue in emergencies. Working with community key stakeholders has an impact in reducing the vulnerabilities of children before hazards such as floods. Integrating the gender transformative approach gives added values to these tools because it makes it possible to evidence and make visible the impact of floods on girls, women and female adolescents. We take into account the opinions and feelings of children, boys and girls facing situations like floods. By taking steps now, we can help children and adolescents play a key role in addressing the impacts of climate change.